Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We will study various techniques of factorization. So let us start by the method of common factors. Consider the algebraic expression 2x plus 4. Here we can see that 2 is a common factor for both the terms. So let us take out 2 common and we are left with x plus 2 inside the bracket. That is same as 2 multiplied by x plus 2. Now 2 is one factor of 2x plus 4 and x plus 2 is another factor of 2x plus 4. Let us take up another example 7xy plus 21x. If we compare the two terms we will see that 7 can be taken out as common and x is also common. So we will take out 7 and x is common. Then what will remain inside the bracket is y plus 3. Hence we can say that 7 is a factor of algebraic expression x is one factor of this algebraic expression and y plus 3 is another factor of the same algebraic expression. Here itself we would like to explain to you that what happens when we take something common. Like in second example when we take 7x common to find the remaining terms we do 7xy divide by 7x that is we take the first term of the expression and divide it by the number we have taken out common then what we get is 7 and 7 get cancelled similarly x gets cancelled and we are left with y so only y remains and in the bracket we write y. Similarly, we take the second term of the algebraic expression and divide it by what we have taken out as common. Then we get x and x gets cancelled and 7 3's are 21 which comes out to be 3. Hence, we have written 3 as the second term. We hope now you must have understood the method of common factors of factorization. Please read the question on the slide. It says factorize 12a square b plus 15ab square. Let us try to solve this using the method of common factors. From the first term we can see that 12 and in the second term 15, both are divisible by 3. Hence 3 can be taken out as common. Next thing, we see that there is a square in the first term, but there is only a in the second term. So, only a can be taken out as common. Next, b in the first term, while b square in the second term. That means only b can be taken out as common. Now we have to find out what remains in the bracket. So let us do some rough work to understand. We will divide first term 12a square b by 3ab. We get 3 4 12. 
वन ए गेट्स कैंसल्ड एंड बी गेट्स कैंसल्ड एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद फोर ए सो वी राइट फोर ए एज द फर्स्ट टर्म देन पॉजिटिव साइन रिमेन्स एज इट इज लेट एस प्रोसीड टू फाइंड द सेकेंड टर्म अगेन वी टेक फिफ्टीन ए बी स्क्वेर एंड डिवाइडेड बाई वॉट वी हैव टेकन एज कॉमन वी गेट थ्री फाइव ज फिफ्टीन ए गेट्स कैंसल्ड एंड वन ऑफ द बी रिमेन्स सो वी गेट फाइव बी एंड वी गेट थ्री ए बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय फोर ए प्लस फाइव बी the since these factors are not further reducible hence 3ab into 4a plus 5b is the required answer